the right enough. First chance he gets, he'll be off that lead. He doesn't give a fuck, that's why I love him. Going after a cat, he pulled Dave right over. He got a fist for that. You have to get the dog's respect. He has to fear you, then he can love you. We tramp through Sunbury's daisy means. Johnny and Dave accost the strolling pensioners. Can you spare us some change, please, for food, like? The first morning in the woods, I watched them play a lusty, fierce ballet with a brandish log. He acknowledged Spike's fault like a parent, proud to show he knows his own son's mischief. It will fly a stick, but Spike will be spiteful. Don't let him bully you, fly. Stand up to him, take it back. One night, he told me about Spike and the wolves. I take him down to Regent's Park. There's the zoo, see, and the wolves are on the outside. You can walk round and see them. They come to him behind the bars, and they look at each other, sniffing and crying like. Then the leader comes over, the big fella, and the rest scatter. They have a bit of a nose at each other, bit of a growl, then I take him away and have a nice walk back home along the canal. But Johnny was well pissed off with us. Vegetarians who weren't even bothered about finding the offie, although we didn't even need to beg. And no chance of a shag, and polite refusals when he offered round the solvent. At Basie, the brew crew fell into the tent, waving cans of lava at six in the morning. He cheered up right enough then, my kind of people, accepting a swim. Civilization at last, said they. When I left, his face, his long lean arms were black with oil from mending the support bag. One knuckle gashed red. The brew crew were taking turns in a stolen murk, spinning it, skidding it, playing frisbee with it round the site. Eh, I'd love to get my hands on that wheel. It's many a year since I had one of them. And two women in a van had tried to get his trousers off. So he was feeling all right, like, again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, got time for one more? Yes. Yeah. This, this is the last one. Um, I'm very keen on frogs, because we're an organic allotment, so we've got loads of ponds to nurture frogs, and, and water tanks, where the frogs also like to get into. Glad to be of help. This watering can won't pour, and it's half full. What's the problem? It sticks its head out, squeezing itself free of the spout. A small frog leaps to the concrete. When I return with a refill, it's still there, still as carved jade in its camouflage gear, still as a specimen in a jar, right out in the open. I easily pick it up. It's not cold or even damp, but warm and very light, head-butting my fingers all the way back. There you go, glad to be of help. Its swimming is wild, uncontrolled. Those spatulate fingers beating the tank's side like someone thoroughly losing their temper. <laughs> <laughs>